Hello dear students, welcome to the course of Engineering Thermodynamics. Myself, Mihin Misri, Assistant Professor from Mechanical Department of LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. So today we are going to continue our session on exergy and in particular we are going to discuss about exergy of finite heat capacity body. In order to understand we will consider the diagram which is shown over here on the screen. So as you can see on the TS diagram we have the 1, 2, 3 process. Now, if this process is about what? Simple, understand this students. We have one hot gas which is at temperature T, right? So, initially the temperature of the hot gas is T and we want to cool down this hot gas at from temperature T to the temperature of T0, okay? So, this temperature is cooled down and this hot gas is cooled down at let us say constant pressure, okay? So, this T0 is the dead state temperature okay now simultaneously whatever amount of heat is rejected in cooling down the hot gas same amount of heat is gained by a working fluid okay reversibly uh, remember students these processes are taking place reversibly so now what we are doing simultaneously constantly in contact with this hot gas we are having one working fluid which is also passing on the uh, other side in the reverse direction. So that is why the working fluid which is initially at T0 is getting temperature or heat from the hot gas and it is reaching to the temperature of T. So at any instant if you will take the temperature difference between working fluid and hot gas that will be zero ideally because of the heat transfer. Okay. So the hot gas will, uh, will get cooled down from this 1 to 3 and this uh, working fluid will get heated up from 3 to 1. Further, this working fluid is supplied to the turbine and it is producing some work reversibly and adiabatically. So, this is highlighted over here from 1 to 2, right? So, it is getting or giving us some work that is available energy. Now, further, this fluid is passing through a heat exchanger and it is rejecting the heat at constant temperature that is isothermal heat rejection that is highlighted by 2 to 3 process and once again this working fluid is passed through the 3 to 1 process. So this is how this whole cycle will act. Okay, so now let us understand the funda very simple. So the very first equation will be what students? Simple. Q1 is equal to whatever amount of heat is rejected by the gas that is how much mg cpg t minus t0 because the gas is rejecting this much heat same amount of heat is gained by the working fluid right so the working fluid will uh, accept the, how much uh, energy or heat mwf cpwf into t minus t0 okay students further what we can write this can be written from the heat balance right now that MgCpG T minus T0 and is equal to MWF CPWF T minus T0 that is highlighted by the area 1, 4, 5, 3, 1. Okay, so that much area will give us the heat transfer Q1. Okay, further the delta S, okay, the delta S gas will be what? So the delta S gas will be very much simple that for gas we can write integration of entropy. Okay, so entropy integration is equal to what? T to T0 because you know that the gas is cooled down from temperature T to T0, right? So T to T0 will be our limit and according to the entropy principle and from that lecture we have already uh, discovered that entropy can be written as MC dt by T. So here Mg is what mass of gas, Cpg is what? specific heat at constant pressure for gas and dt by t. So if you will integrate this then you will get the natural log t0 by t and obviously here t0 will be less than the temperature t that is why this whole entropy change for gas will be negative value. Okay next same way delta SWF that is working fluid entropy change. So working fluid entropy change can be written as see working fluid is getting temperature from T0 to T. 
So that will be your limit from T0 to T, right? So integration from T0 to T of mass of working fluid into specific heat of working fluid into dt by t. Mass and specific heat will be treated as constant in the integration and you can integrate it. So integration will give us what? Natural log of T divided by T0. And this will give us the positive value. Okay, students. I hope you are clear up to this point. Now, one more thing you should note students over here that in this first equation, if you observe, then this T minus T0 and T minus T0 will get cancelled out. So, what is the ultimate uh, terms? MGCPG is equivalent to MWF CPWF. That means you can replace these two products. These products are same. Mass into specific heat of gas will be equivalent to mass into specific heat of working fluid. These products are having same result. Okay, because T minus T0 get cancelled out on equal to sign. Okay, further delta S universe will be equal to what? Delta S universe is equal to delta S gas plus delta S of working fluid. That will be equal to zero because here you can see Sir, how it will be zero? Because I have already told you, MGCPG and NMWCPWF will be same. And ln T0 and, and ln T by T0 also are having same value. So this whole will have same value. One will be having negative and one will be having positive value. So now your result will be zero. That means what? This is isolated system. You can treat it as isolated or reversible system because your entropy change is zero. Entropy is remaining constant okay further heat rejection can be written as what heat rejection can be see here heat rejection is equal to uh, occurring at temperature t0 so that is equal to t0 into delta s of working fluid so t0 into delta s of working fluid so t0 delta s of working fluid will be what delta s of working fluid you know over here mw cpwf lnt by t0 but here instead of mw cpwf we can also write MGCPG ln T by T0. Okay, students. So now, exergy of the gas is what? Exergy of the gas will be very much simple. X is equal to what? Q1 minus Q2 because exergy is equal to heat supplied minus heat rejected. That will give you the exergy of the gas. Right? So here, MGCPG into T minus T0 minus that is Q1 minus Q2 is what? T0, here I already told you MWF, CPWF can be replaced by MG into CPG. So keep that thing in your mind, right? So now if I will put this MG, CPG, CPG over here, so I can write T0, MG, CPG, ln T by T0. So same equation is written over here. You can see that, right? So now here, I can take MGCPG as common. So I will take MGCPG as common. So in the bracket, what I will have? I will have T minus T0 minus T0 ln T by T0. So this is nothing but the XRG for the gas with having specific heat C. Okay, because uh, students, what will happen generally? The total specific heat of the gas will be what? Total specific heat of the gas will be nothing but mass of gas into uh, specific heat for per unit mass. So this small c is representing the specific heat per unit mass into its mass. So that will give us total uh, specific heat of the gas. So for any substance having specific heat of c, you can write down the exergy as c into t minus t0. t is what? Temperature, higher temperature. t0 is what? Dead state temperature minus T0 ln T by T0. Okay. And if you will pay attention, then this is nothing but the area 1, 2, 3, 1. And we already know that, right, students, that this much will be the available energy because you know that this C, this whole area, let me highlight it for you guys by the highlighter. So here, if you will observe, then this whole yellow highlighted area, right? this whole yellow highlighted area this whole yellow highlighted area will give us what that will give us the total heat that is transferred in this cycle right this will give us total heat that will be transferred in this cycle right now from that from that let us subtract the heat rejected so heat rejected can be subtract like this right 
So this will be the heat rejected. Okay, students. So now, if this is the heat rejected, then now the effective uh, exercise or work that you are getting is this much area. That is one, two, three, one. That is why this will be the exercise. Easy to understand, right? So today we are going to keep up to this point. Thank you.